Welcome back to the channel. As you may have discovered and installed Windows 11 on your PC, a lot of extra applications may have shown up. A lot of them were things you may have not installed or may not need at all. And this is called bloatware. It's applications that does take up some resources on your computer. It can slow things down. And I'm gonna show you how to remove that. So let's take a look. We're at the Windows 11 desktop and the start menu is going to contain apps that you may have installed and maybe you didn't install and the stuff that you didn't install that's called bloatware and that's what we're going to be removing today. We're going to be using a tool similar to the one that I used in the Windows 10 video. It's right over here if you want to check that out. We'll jump over to the GitHub website. The app is called This is Win 11. It's built by Bell. This is the homepage right now, and I'll include the link in the description below. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be downloading a file on our computer to remove the bloatware. The most current version is 0.87. That's one that we're gonna download. But what this tool actually contains is a de-bloating uh, element to it, and that's the one that we're gonna be using here. So we have a couple of download options in here. The one that we're gonna be selecting is the tiw11.zip file, and I'm gonna save that in my downloads folder. And here we go, It's and now it's done. So I'm just gonna go into my downloads folder. Here's the download, and I'm gonna right click on it and just extract everything in here. Select extract all, we'll leave it in the subfolder, and it'll extract all the files from here. There's only two in here. There's a folder and the executable file. And what we wanna do is right click on it and run as administrator, click on more info, and then run anyway. And it's gonna pop up the application. So if you get a security warning like I did, you just gotta say yes to it and it'll allow it to run. So over here at the main screen, it just gives you a little bit of demo. You can walk through the operating itself. It just gives you a little bit of an overview with it and you get a bunch of options on the left-hand side. The section we wanna concentrate on is the apps version. So right here, it automatically populates this list on the left-hand side of all the applications that may not be required but are pre-installed on your system. So take a good look at everything in here and you can automatically select all by clicking on the add all option up here at the top and it'll remove everything over to the recycling bin side. Everything that's on the recycling bin side will automatically be removed once you have selected. If you only want individual ones to be selected, you just have to click on each individual one and then you can click on add selected. So you've added everything over onto this list and you're like, wait, I actually want a few of these options in here. Um, there's some people who wanted the big news or weather and they didn't actually want these removed. So what you can do before you actually empty everything is you can select one individual one and then restore it by clicking on the restore selected. And then what it does is it moves it back over into the app list. You can take one or two options like maybe the Microsoft store. A lot of people like that. You can select it and then click on the restore selected one and it puts it back in the app list. It won't remove it off the system. So click on restore selected. And these ones are gonna be left. Now everything else, let's just say we're okay with it and we're ready to move on and we want it removed off our computer. We're gonna click on the empty recycling bin button. So these are the two that we're leaving and we're happy with removing everything else. We'll click on this empty recycling bin button It'll confirm that you want to remove everything on your computer. If you are okay with it, click on yes, and it'll begin the uninstallation process. And it's going to go through each individual app one by one. This does take a few minutes for it to run. And what we'll do is we'll jump to the end of it completing. Here we go, it is now completed. We have a summary of everything that happened over here. So at the top, 73 applications were selected, only 65 were removed. So. The reasons for applications not being removed is possibly it's running at the time that you're uh, running this program. It's like OneDrive, you can see in the corner I have it running right now. If I was trying to remove it and wasn't able to do it, that's probably a good reason. So when apps are running, they're not gonna be successfully removed off your computer. Also, if it's something that's not even there and it can't find it or there's an issue with the application, there could be several different reasons why it's not removing it. What it's gonna do is it's gonna take its best attempt at removing any app active applications off your PC. So we're taking a peek back in our start menu and if you look down here, you scroll down, a lot of the apps are gone. Click on all apps and this list got extremely short. Pretty much majority of the apps are now been removed off the computer. Not everything, most of them. Um, but it does a pretty good job overall of removing the, the bloatware apps on your computer. Now, say you actually wanted to restore an app that you wanted. Let me show you how to do that. So we're jumping back in the application and what you wanna do is look on the left-hand side. So we have system, we have apps, we have packages, and then we have automate. 
If you select automate, you, the second option in the list is called reinstall all built-in apps. So what you wanna do is click on apply selected and say yes to the prompt. And it's gonna go through a list of applications that were pre-installed on your system and it's gonna to attempt to reinstall them back on. So if there is something that you accidentally uninstalled and removed, what it's gonna do is put everything back on your computer. Now, it's not allowing you to select the individual ones, it's gonna put it all back on. This might be something that he updates later on in the future where you can individually select the apps, but right now it's just gonna put it all back on. You can see some errors uh, that pop up on the screen. Majority of the stuff will still function properly. I do believe there are some issues with certain apps uh, uninstalling and reinstalling back on. You'd have to individually install those ones if there is an issue, but overall it does a pretty good job. So once the installation process has been completed, you'll return to a prompt like we just did right here. And then it's safe to just close down the PowerShell window by clicking the X in the corner. And then you'll get a prompt here that says everything has been successfully executed. So you can click OK and you can exit out of the application itself. You can go back into the start menu and then you can start seeing some of the apps in here. But if I click on the All Apps button and scroll down, you'll notice that it says New right next to it. These are the applications that have been installed back onto the system. So that's how you do it. So that's how you de-bloat Windows and re-bloat it, uh, choosing to uh, install everything back on your computer. I hope you found this useful. Like I said, this application is not perfect. It's still a work in progress. I'm sure he'll have many more releases coming out as he fine tunes it. But if you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you found it useful. And please subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more ways to optimize Windows 11. I have a lot more videos coming out. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.